Green Nation, welcome back to another interview. I'm Ethan Erickson. Today I'm joined with Raider Damuni. Yep. What's up, Raider? Nice to meet you No, you're good, bro. You're good. You're yeah, okay. So, Raider and I play on the football team together. Um, you just got back from your mission this past December. Yep, yep. Real new. Looking, but looking good, though. I mean, you've been looking good in, fall, in uh, spring ball so far, so excited to see where your career is going. Uh, so, Raider, just to, just to start off, you know, that name is kind of unique. You know, where's, where, where's that come from? Salute. So, um... Yeah, so there's a, my dad, he graduated from Cuckoo. I'm sure you. Yeah, that's, that's where I went. That's where I went. <laughs> he went there, but he went to Cuckoo and, you know, that, that had a big impact in, in why my name is Raider. Um, yeah. So Ra Raider for life right there. Just had to get it out of the way. Yep. You know, let's get that one out of the way. That's my mater right there. So <laughs> I gotta, gotta give it a little, a little, little shout out, a little bit of love. Um, so you play football. How long have you been playing football for? I've been playing football since. Since I started in first grade, but then I took a little break, and then I started playing again back in like sixth grade. Yeah. So from that time until now, I've been playing playing football. Yeah. Was uh did your family like put you into football, or was it, like something that you wanted to do, or how did you? Yeah, I always wanted to play football, but I grew up I grew up in Hawaii mm -hmm. in Maui, and um, when I played in first grade, they played on Sundays back in in Hawaii oh, wow. in Maui. So yeah. my parents pulled me out for that, and then just played basketball up until middle school to where they, they started playing on, on Saturdays. So that's kind of when I started playing. Did you play basketball all throughout uh, high school as well? I played my freshman and my junior year. Mm -hmm. And then senior year, I graduated a little early. And then my sophomore year, I just kind of focused on football a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, that's... So how many siblings do you have? Are they involved in sports as well? Um, I have three siblings. I have an older brother. He's He's actually a pilot. He didn't really... He's not a lot of... He's not big into sports like yeah. that. He likes watching, but he doesn't play. Mm -hmm. And then I have an older sister who played volleyball. And then I have a younger sister who also plays volleyball, but she's at, she's at BYU right now as well yeah. playing. She's a freshman. And so you said you lived in Maui. When did you, you moved to Utah. You went to Tip View, mm -hmm. is that right? Yep. When did you make that move? So I, in eighth grade. Okay. Eighth grade, I moved up here. And uh, we moved to, we've been living in Provo ever since. And yeah. did, did you get held back at all? It, yeah, I did when I moved up from from Hawaii yeah. to to Utah. Was it? Did you do eighth grade twice, or what did you? Eighth do? grade, yeah. So I finished eighth grade in Hawaii, and then I came back up to Utah and and redid eighth grade. Yeah, that's how that's how my entire graduating class was. So like, <laughs> I had I had Soldier in my album there, and then I had a bunch of other guys. Yeah. So they were all they were all my age, but they were you know a grade younger than me. Yeah. It's like, it's like I got held back. <laughs> and so so how old are you? Twenty. I just turned twenty. Twenty one. Just turned twenty one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and you. Just started your freshman year. That's yeah. just kind of how BOU is, though. You yeah. Know? Like we we always got old guys. Yeah. Um. And so, your kind of you know recruitment process. When did you start really taking football seriously and decide you wanted to go play college? I would say when I moved up here. When I moved up to Utah, um, I was at I was playing with Orem High School for a little while, and um, that's when I I kind of wanted to start playing football and taking it more seriously. Because growing up, I didn't really understand like the whole recruiting process. Mm -hmm. Growing up in such a small area. But when I came up here, I started seeing, you know, more recruiting attention and stuff. And so when that came in, that's when I kind of started taking football seriously. Yeah. Uh, and so you're a safety right now. Mm -hmm. Did you play other, other positions while you were growing up? So when I was growing up, I played, yeah, I played a lot. I played some quarterback, played receiver, um, corner, mm -hmm. safety. And then I punted in high school. So Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I played in high school too. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so many guys on our team that just go from position to position. Like we've had... Uh, just countless guys that are quarterbacks then end up at wide receiver, end up at, at DB. Yeah. And so, but I think that really, you know, makes a great football player is someone who kind of understands the game from different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. And so that's that's definitely a big strength. Um, but with basketball, so you, you stopped playing your, you said your freshman year, sophomore year? So I played my freshman year, and then sophomore year I took a break. I kind of just started focusing on football. Mm -hmm. Came back my junior year, and then senior year I graduated in December, so I didn't. Wasn't able to, to play that season. Yeah. What made you decide you want to play football over basketball? I think it was, it was more so I received I I had more recruiting interest mm -hmm. in, in football, and I could see myself going farther in that sport than basketball. I love basketball. Basketball is my yeah. favorite sport, but you know, football at the end of the day was the one that was going to be able to to help me and mm -hmm. pay pay off college and yeah. So it's so so tell me a little bit about your your recruiting process. How did it start and how did it end? Yeah. So. My first offer was, was BYU, and that started end of my eighth grade year. That started, my, yeah, end of my eighth grade year, and then through freshman and, and 
high school, the more recruiting interest started picking up from from Utah, Utah State, and the in-state schools, and then some a lot of the Pac-12 schools and some Big Ten schools. So um, it was it was a good process. It was it was stressful, but yeah. It was, it was great. I'm grateful for it. So your dad's one of one of the um, he's on the staff at BYU. Mm-hmm. Did that play a part in you decided to come here, or was it was it hard to you know put down all those other schools? I think I think that played a huge role in mm-hmm. in me coming to BYU. Was my dad being there, being able to play in front of my family? You know, growing I mean living in Provo before as well, going to Timview, and um, ultimately too, it was BYU was was one of the schools out of the, the other schools that was going to let me go on a mission, and so. That that played a big factor in me choosing BYU at the end of the day. Yeah. So where did you end up going on a mission to? I was in Oakland, San Francisco. Okay. In California. And so was it kind of a, um, did you always know you were going to go on a mission? Or was it kind of the thing that was like, dang, you know, all these these schools are, you know, they're going to pull a scholarship if I don't go. Mm -hmm. Like, was it kind of a difficult decision to make or how was that? It was always the plan. My my parent, my dad, he, growing up, I was, they, they raised me well and, um, they always helped me to under, understand, you know, the blessings that come from a mission. My dad served the mission. My brother served the mission. And so that helped help me want to always serve a mission. I think that it wasn't a decision that I made at the last second or anything. It's something that I always wanted to do. And so going into the recruiting process, there was a lot of schools like that that said, you know, we couldn't honor your scholarship if you go on a mission. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful that BYU and other schools, there are some other schools as well that let me were going to offer me the opportunity to go on a mission. Man, well, that's awesome. That's going to wind down our, our part one here, uh, but I appreciate you. Uh, and we, we got two more parts, Cougar fans, so be sure to stick around for both of those. Um, part two and part three will be coming out shortly, because uh, we're just getting the tip of the iceberg with, with Raider here. Uh, but thanks for watching part one. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the other two parts of this interview, plus all of our other interviews we do with BYU athletes. We also like to give a special thanks to our Cougar Board insiders for making this possible.